Hello everybody and welcome back to Tonga, which is New Zealand now. That That's a thing. We are currently attempting to colonize the most difficult location to colonize here. And we are having a bit of a financial problem. We're going to have to go further into debt here. But we are keeping these mercs up for one more round of uprisings. So that they can take the brunt rather than our manpower pool taking the brunt of the of the pain. And there they are. There we go. And now we can get rid of our mercs. We no longer need them. We've got enough here. And that is going to save us a substantial amount of money. Not enough to make up for our interest, but a substantial amount nonetheless. We're also working on developing down over here because we don't really have the troops to be able to spare for a second colonist, so instead we are spending the money on developing our existing colonies. Hello, 200 population and a base manpower there. That is huge. That is absolutely enormous. Uh, I kind of don't want to meddle in the affairs of the clergy. Let's let them get additional influence for right now. The fact that their influence was low was actually hurting us because we couldn't establish new world missions. And now we absolutely will do that and we'll have less native uprisings here as well as a greater chance of native assimilation. I'm going to continue not putting additional ideas in here because we technically don't care about anything here yet. We can always put it in later if we do end up caring at a later date. Our institutions are pretty terrible. Merchants are worried about a lack of protection, huh? 25 dip power for a mercantilism? Yeah, we'll do that. That's fine. We also need to get our mill tech up, but that'll happen relatively soon. Are we getting an unbalanced research penalty yet? No, we are not. That's excellent. Okay, there's natives, but we're fine. We won that, and we should be able to replenish before the natives pop again with the New World missions. Hopefully. Okay, we've renewed some loans. That's not ideal. And our explorer died. That's fine. We'll, we'll leave him dead for now. And actually, I don't think this is going to change anything. Yeah, fleet maintenance isn't going to change anything. We cannot turn down our army maintenance. We are too close already on this not being successful. Like, realistically, I'm currently concerned. I'm currently actively concerned that we're going to have another uprising before we gain enough manpower here. Okay, we took a loan. It's not ideal, but it, it is what it is. Okay, we have enough people there. We just need to hold out for one more native attack, and then this is ours. I'm going to go ahead and unmothball these ships. Start those repairing, because we are going to need to move. Our general died. We absolutely need a general here. And that one had decent shock. Hey, production increased in y Waihopai. That's good. That'll help our uh, that'll help our bottom line. We're self-sustaining. We are good to go. Okay. We're going to go ahead and core that immediately. That is going to be a huge deal. Next, where are we colonizing? Well, I think we should split up at this point. Now, we've got We've got 10 troops here, so let's go ahead and split them in half, like so. And then we've got New Caledonia here. That's a pretty crappy place, but it's a good jumping off point to Australia here. But there's only three production there. We're going to have to develop that if we want to make that worthwhile, probably. And then this colonist down here can go ahead and be retracted. And there's also Samoa up here, also pretty terrible. But uh, we have a lot of islands to be colonized up over this direction, and we are definitely going to be doing that. Now, I'm just checking over here. We don't really have vision to see if Europe is coming yet, but they should be around relatively soon. I want to get Australia before them, 
if at all possible. So we absolutely need to go to New Caledonia. There's only a hundred natives there. So we don't actually need to send all 5k troops because look at this. There's not very many natives in Australia just in general. So that's fine. We can go ahead and get rid of these two and just send three. So we'll send 3k to New Caledonia. Off they go. And then these 5k are going to be going to Samoa. But do we need 5k up there? Ah, there's 4k in Samoa. I think we do. But we can still save ourselves a decent chunk of money. And obviously, we're saving a lot right now. But let's go ahead and send a uh, colonist up here. Oh. I actually already did. There we go. And we'll transport these guys up to Samoa. Now, we are going to need a leader here. We don't really need one here. So we'll go ahead and use our second fleet to transport the second army up here. Hopefully, they don't proc immediately and we lose. But we will st we will have only 1k less than them. So I think we should be okay-ish. Excellent. We were fine. Let's go ahead and send the colonist then. And in the meantime, we are grabbing our other 2k. And up we go. Okay, they rose up again. That's fine. They can do that. Just crush them again. Perfect. And then we will go ahead and mothball these ships. And that'll save us a little bit of money. Excellent. <laughs> New Caledonia. Don't really care. Now we've got Vanuatu, but realistically I think this is our force that's going to be settling islands long term. Most of these up here do not have a lot of a lot of natives on them. So realistically looking at this, like even Hawaii up here, there's 5k there, but we have 5k. So I think this is a M more than sufficient quantity. And for Australia jumping off, this is a more than sufficient quantity as well. Good harvest. Ooh. I'm going to put it into the treasury and use that to pay off one of our loans. I would normally absolutely take the admin power, but I really feel like we need to repay a loan. There we go. That will help our interest situation. And we're now barely losing money. That's what I like. Now we're gaining money. That's what I like to see, even with us rooting out corruption pretty substantially. Excellent. I think we are now financially, sta financially stable, officially. Now we could spend down our inflation... I kind of don't think that's necessary, though. I really want to get Renaissance Thought, because pretty soon we're going to need a third colonist, and the third colonist will not be for colonizing. The third colonist will, in fact, be exclusively for improving development in places like New Caledonia, because this is going to be a drain on us. At 111, we'll need to develop this. Oh no, not New Caledonia and their 100 troops. <laughs> not really a concern. And now you can see we're banking manpower too. So that's really, really good. Okay, we renewed additional loans, which I don't like to see because that gives us more inflation. I think we can safely reduce our army maintenance by about one-fifth. So from 1.67, we'll take it down to 1.5. Another comet? There have been so many comets. Okay, they attacked up here, which is the more threatening one, but we just absolutely crushed it. So yeah, we're, we're absolutely fine on that front. And then we'll just replenish that, get ourselves our Diptech 6. Fantastic. We can now build docks. I'm not sure that's super important. But with Diptech 6, that does mean that we may be able to do exploration missions. I mean, we can't without an explorer. 
and we can't even look at them without recruiting an explorer, which isn't great. I wish we could look to see if we had exploration missions available. That would sure be nice. So we've kind of started to get a lot more going on now. Now that we have all of New Zealand colonized and we're actually able to support this to some degree. Native assimilation in Samoa, that's always nice to see. Native uprising in New Caledonia, I really don't care. Now, I would really love to be rooting out a whole lot more corruption. That said, we also need to be saving up money to construct buildings, because buildings are going to help us make a lot more money, which will really help us once we get that third explorer. Samoa should absolutely crush that. Yeah, they did. That's fine. Good for them. The biggest thing that I want to do, though, is pay down these loans. Can we potentially ask for a contribution from the Merchant Guild? We absolutely can. An admin support. We'll do that. Um, I don't really want to make a generous donation. They'll get over this. Hunting accident. Kamea died. Oof. Well, so much for the Arano restoration. That's unfortunate. Okay, we are currently losing a small amount of money. Why are we losing money right now? Half a, half a ducat a month. That's actually not that small. Was it something with our air? Also, we can we can now access the Australia trade node. I just realized that. Um, we should be... Where is the Australia trade node? It only exports to the Malukas. That's not super ideal. Because Malukas doesn't pass into the Philippines directly. That only goes out to Malacca, which itself only goes west. And Philippines doesn't push to the Australia trade node either. Hmm. I feel like... We need to collect here. I don't think that it's going to be very helpful to push it into Malacca. That'll only help other people, not us. So, we have to collect. And we're actually collecting 2.44. Holy crap. I guess because nobody else has anything in that node? I'll take it. That's just a bunch of free money. So, realistically, with that much free money coming in, let's just get a ducat a month and spend the rest on rooting out corruption. And then we can maybe repay some of these loans and be making even more. I'm very okay with this. The risks of trade. Um, we could gain a mercantilism, and gain loyalty and influence. I mean, that would be good. Most of our money is coming from trade right now, but that's still a lot of money. I feel like 15 loyalty isn't the end of the world. Yeah, that's not too bad. We're still making a decent chunk of money. So the next question is, is Australia going to be within colonial range of New Caledonia? I'm pretty sure it will. Or perhaps Tasmania down here? Ooh, we can get Miltec 5. Fantastic. We can get different soldiers, and so we absolutely will do that. Defensive or offensive Asian foot soldiers? I feel like right now, we're playing purely defensively. And now we just hope that they don't proc this month. Okay, we're solid. Fantastic. 
This is now starting to go swimmingly. Okay, well, we still need to get these two colonies going here. However, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will expand to Australia. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.